Hello! What's that? Poundland special, you say? Don't mind if I do. Yes, it's our first foray of 2016 into the crap sold by the one unit of currency stores that exist around the world. And let's begin with something I think, in a very real sense, we all need in our lives. A desktop boyfriend! Hey! Yes, there he is, looking all worrying, with his legs splayed out slightly too much, and quite impressive moves going on there. And no face, no face whatsoever, like an unfilled social media profile. And it's obviously from a company called Jam, because it says Jam and Trademark all the bloody way over it. Big thanks to whoever sent this in ages ago, by the way, because I had one myself I bought from a pound shop, and uh, managed to step on it and break it. And then, the next day, almost, one came in the P.O. box. Hooray! Jam. Fun that sticks. Do they mostly make stickers then? Because there doesn't seem to be anything particularly sticky about this, you know. It's a photo holder in it, and on the back, we can find out how our desktop boyfriend, or girlfriend, also available, works. Basically, you take a picture of a friend or just somebody you like out of a magazine, and then stick it on the top like some weird monstrosity created by a serial killer in a shit 80s film. Well done, everybody. Also, who took their shoes? That's weird. Right. Desktop girlfriend, also available. Yeah, we'd work that out. From our friends at Blue, or Jam, or whatever the hell they're called this week. Right. Let's see what it's actually like in the flesh, so to speak. Well, yeah, it's slightly troubling, frankly. Um, oh god, the dreaded twist ties. Anybody who has bought toys for children recently will hate these things with several passions. Right, there we are. Dun dun dun. Dun, dun, dun. Ministry of Silly Walks in Action. So, you can sit on a thing and look like that. I'm getting rid of that, that's just weird. And instead he's got this tiny little beak look. <coughs> it's the stork bringing your baby. Oh my god, it's quite... <laughs> That's really frightening, isn't it? <laughs> There's his weird beak. <laughs> Draw some eyes on that. <laughs> Incoming! My god, it's like something you'd be shooting in Starship Troops. Right, sit on this box and stop being so bloody weird. Oh god, I don't know, it's kind of freaking me out even at the back, actually. How can we make that less frightening? Ah, I know. There we are. Now everything's much, much better. Right, Tommy looks at an action figure. Haven't seen an old Poundland action figure for a while. Our mates at Fantastic have come up with Ninja Warrior. Ninja figures always something that appears in these pound stores every so often. There's a couple of Sai, there's a katana on the back, and my god, he's a patriotic American ninja, I would say. Also, been packaged specifically, so it looks like he's scratching his ass. Um, which is probably one of my favourite things that's ever happened to one of these Poundland figures. I actually don't want to open it, because I just want <laughs> the arse scratching display where the arm is moved. No, fuck it. Let's do the whole hog. Come on then. Stop scratching your bum. Oh, got it. Much better now. So, um, yeah, very generic looking figure. The arms move in sideways, not outwards. Um, I presume that's so it can hold the uh, sword here in both hands. Don't wait for it. Wait for it. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. I'm gonna repeatedly say it until it does happen. Yay, there we go. Oh. Looks <laughs> more like he's just holding a hose or something. And the articulation's quite good from these Poundland figures, actually. There's a bit of sort of uh, knee bending and elbow bending and all that stuff going on. Still the exposed screws in the back, which is never a positive thing, frankly. And, yeah, there's the side if you want that kind of stuff. Bloody marvellous. Cheap, and it's a quid. What do you expect? On the plus side, it can kill headless beaky boyfriend things. So, you know, everything has a plus side to it. Oh, here's something they had a while ago. Pirate, the deadly ocean, as opposed to the lovely ocean, which is coming next week. Now, their pirate figure, you may quite easily realise, is actually just one of the wrestling figures they have repainted slightly, stuck a hat on him, and given some sort of shitty telescope and cutlass combination. Thanks, fantastic. The facial expression is something quite special, actually. Um, looks kind of harrowed, as if he's had a hard life and he's just seen something which means he can no longer continue. Yar! Me hearties, that's what the kids like in their toys. Existential dread. Right, here's one of the most horrific things I've ever seen in my fucking life. Bottle opener! that's shaped like some dentures or something, so it looks like somebody smashed their teeth out trying to open a bottle with their front teeth. Just imagine that for a second. 
Oh, it's not nice, is it? Brings a smile to any party. Yeah, I'm going to be honest with you. Um, I don't think that will bring a smile. It will just make people feel ill, which is kind of what's happened to me, to be honest. Um, also, they've tried to spray the uh, teeth white and sort of not quite done it there and got it on the metal instead. So, well done, lads. Warning, this is not a toy. Adult use only. Keep out of reach of children. If alcohol is used, drink responsibly. Unlike us, when we came up with this idea. Sounding a bit like Boise from uh, Only Fools and Horses there at the end. I don't quite know why. Yeah, anyway, that's bloody horrible. And frankly, I'm going to get shot of it without even opening it, because it makes my skin crawl and my teeth itch and not in a good way. I don't know how your teeth could itch in a good way. But anyway, let's bear that in mind. Whilst we nip over to the magical land of Canada, where their Dollarama for 125, that's confusing, <clears throat> they presenting this is just one of those things you just think, what the fuck? Sock purse, portemonnaie with keychain avec porte-clé. Yes. Hmm, porte-clé. Do you know, I can't remember how to pronounce French. Hmm, I'm happy with that. Right, it's a small child sock, a patriotic Canadian sock, that they have turned into a purse. With key ring. I mean, who would want to keep anything in that? It's just deeply unpleasant. And plus, if you do put any coins in it, it's going to take you a fucking month to get them out again, isn't it? It's the most stupid and ridiculous thing I have ever seen in my entire life. And I have watched some of that Adam Sandler film that went straight to Netflix. Um, I mean, it's very well padded, I'll give it that. It, there is actually some sort of lining, it's not just a thin sock. But why? Why? Why does this exist, Canada? What did we do to make you want to attack us with your weird, slightly off-white socks that actually look very white on the viewfinder, so I regret mentioning it now? Oh dear. Quickly, more action figures. That'll sort things out. It's the E-Team. Or if they were Canadian, the A-Team. <laughs> did you get it? Because... Uh, never mind. <clears throat> octopus dive set. Yes. And there is an octopus and a figure of a man in scuba gear. It's from Wild Republic. Spark your imagination. You're, oh my god, there's a whole set of them. Oh my goggly goodness, what have we got? Um, shark. Well, they're all di no, they're not, I was going to say they're all divers. No, they're not at all, actually. We've got Diver and Shark, Diver and Octopus, Diver and Stingray. Oh, careful with that. Who remembers poor old Steve Irwin? Bloody hell. Diver and Dolphin. Um, sort of generic bloke and panda. Muscly looking bloke and crocodile and or alligator. Uh, generic bloke with some sort of leopard, I would imagine. Looks more like he's got... Bu bubos on it or something. It's absolutely horrifying. Um, musty bloke and tiger. And then they've got some fucking dinosaurs. Because of course they have. I thought the whole point of this was an eco-rescue team. They're a bit, a bit late to rescue the dinosaurs, lads. That ship has kind of sailed. Right, let's see what the quality is like. I'm guessing not a whole freaking amount. It seems to be, yeah, just a... Well, it's... They've done the underneath as well. That's something. It's a very suckery octopus. And... Here is the mighty figure with uh, yeah, lots of bits of weird plastic sprue hanging off. That's always nice. And ooh, oh dear. Well, that's supposed to go over the mouth. When you take it off, it's got a very weird look to it. Look, sort of a look of a bad figure of snake eyes from GI Joe or something. So, the, oh, the knees don't bend, but the ankles do. That's slightly odd. And you've got some elbow movement. Feels very cheap, slightly nasty, but kind of works. I like the backwards E on here. That could also be seen as a spanner. Isn't that interesting? Um, so what's the idea? He goes down and rescues the octopus, and then everyone lives happily ever after? I don't know. Let's make up a backstory for him. Dun, 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 dun. Chad Tippington, underwater expert. Always, always forefront in his mind is to rescue the animals of the sea. Beaten brutally by his parents for giving the ducks his last crumb of bread as a child, he knew that his future was entirely going to be overshadowed by saving animals that are in, near, around, or can spell the word water. Go, Chad. Oh, he suffocated. Oh, well, never mind. Let's look at another one, then. Here's one of the dinosaurs. Bloody hell. It really is a case of get a cheap figure, package it in with generic animal, isn't it? No rescue set. Well, that be a uh, Triceratops, I think, isn't it? I don't know. I can't remember the names of dinosaurs these days. I've not thought about dinosaurs for a while. Um, for various reasons. Jurassic <coughs> World. Um, right, well, what's this guy then? Oh god, he's actually attached to the back. Ah, not anymore. Haha. <laughs> there you go, I can keep that as your utility belt. 
Um, yeah, exactly the same deal with uh, the articulation, except you haven't got the articulation on the flippers there. Um, which I suppose, actually, thinking about it, it's so he can look like he's swimming. Hey! Oh, that's quite good, actually. Well done. Bonus points. Can't even ride it looking. He's got loads of Tipex on his shoe. Deary me, you are a messy man. Your name is Lex Chaddington. Dinosaur expert. He likes dinosaurs so much he willed one into existence, apparently. And it's called Jeff, and it makes him cups of coffee. I don't know. I'm now slightly thrown because I've got the theme tune to Denver the Last Dinosaur stuck in my head, and that is not something you need at any stage during your life. Ah, well, there we go. Infinite joy for any girl or boy who's been to Poundland and wants a bottle opener that looks like some smashed up teeth. Subscribe for more.